Look at the fall colors. We went that way last time. And we found the rock architecture. We did. But we don't need to go back that way again. I hear the water. Look at these. This very human made bank. Lots of rocks tied up with metal fence like material. You know, when I first got the idea for doing the Black Creek Walk, this is what I envisioned. <laughs> this kind of hoppy along you? Walking directly beside the creek. We let go of that, did we? We let go of that, yes. But this is fun. The creek kind of blasted through this barrier. I think uh, that's good enough for me. Oh yeah, that was fun. For a little bushwhacking for today. Okay. Lots of people live here. Imagine if all these people were connected. How powerful they'd be. I wonder how many of them know each other. There's at least 120 dwellings on this side. 120? I wonder where the poop goes. <laughs> well, it goes to the water treatment facility, hopefully. That's a lot of poop. We were visiting my parents' home and we had a bit of a sewage. Uh, what would you call it, huh? Uh, the septic system backed up. Oh, baby. Puts our poop production into perspective. Seems like a pretty sustainable way to live if you can live on enough space that you can take care of your own waste where you live. But all of this poop gets pumped out somewhere else where we never see it. Well, I think it gets cleaned up to the point where it's clean enough from the authorities perspective to empty into Lake Ontario. Oh, our poop goes into Lake Ontario? Well, hopefully you clean the poop out of the water before the water goes into Lake Ontario. Oh. But I think the Toronto water treatment facilities are pretty good. What do they do to the poop though? They turn it into compost? I guess the poop gets filtered out. I don't know what happens to it. There's some ducks. It's amazing that we can live life for 28 years and not really know what happens to our poop. It really is. Now the path goes into the back of a parking lot. Here we go. Well, we could slide down, but then how do we get back up? We need a rope. I don't have a rope. <laughs> Let's find a way to get down. I'm just gonna check the weather. It's currently raining. Because if it starts to rain hard, it is very dangerous to be down there. 0 0.5 millimeters. It only really overflows if it's like five to 10 millimeters. So this is where they decided to start paving. Whoa. Cracks in the concrete. Yeah. So one day, 
this concrete either won't be here and it will have been removed by some future generation of people who prefer to have plants by their creeks or the concrete will be buried by new dirt like these plants are already starting to do. I'm sorry, I'm mesmerized. A lot of ducks. Ducks left. Oh. It's quite the construction project. They did this in like the 50s or 60s. Up ahead is the tunnel that goes under the 401. Maybe I'll just go down there quickly to get a shot of the giant tunnel. The first bridge is obviously not the 401, but beyond that bridge is a giant tunnel where the creek goes under. The biggest highway I've ever seen. Open the cracks, 